top 14 fast food items that don't exist anymore. True to their name, fast food restaurants change up their menus at a breakneck pace. New items are introduced with great fanfare, then disappear to make way for what's next. Even menu mainstays aren't immune. Take high C Orange Lattaburst, the neon beverage first sold at McDonald's back in 1955. After decades of service, the crowd pleaser was unceremoniously dumped in favor of Sprite Tropic Berry in 2017. And while High C just came back, after four years of irate tweets and petitions, most of discontinued items vanish, never to be seen again. Don't forget to watch today's video to the very end as we bring you the top 14 fast food items that don't exist anymore. Number 14. Subway's Roast Beef and Rotisserie Style Chicken Sandwiches In 2020, Subway quietly removed two fan-favorite sandwiches from its menu, Roast Beef and Rotisserie Style Chicken. While the brand didn't make a formal announcement, customers certainly noticed. Outraged fans took to Twitter to protest the cancellations. One of Subway's official accounts, at Subway Listens, offered cold comfort saying some locations may have had a dwindling supply of the meats in stock. That was in June, and neither item is currently listed on the chain's menu online. Some speculate the premium meats may have been more costly to produce and that Subway was seeking to streamline its menu during the pandemic. Number 13. Pizza Hut's P-Zones Pizza Hut invented this half pizza, half calzone, in 2002. The tasty mashup featured a toasted parmesan pizza crust, crammed full of all your regular pizza toppings and served with a cup of marinara sauce. Fans were crushed when their meat-filled muse was ripped away. Years ago, we lived in a nation where freedom to express yourself was limited. Until Pizza Hut unveiled their P-Zone, wrote David Falso, who began a change.org petition. Bring back the P-Zone, Pizza Hut. This is for freedom. This is for the progression of humankind. The restaurant chain revived the item for a brief time as part of its Dollar 5 lineup. In the midst of March Madness 2019, you had your choice of pepperoni, meaty, and supremo, but now you've got no options at all. Number 12. McDonald's Third Pound Burgers In 2009, McDonald's went beyond its quarter pounder and introduced hefty third pound Angus beef burgers, but they were discontinued just four years later. Third Pound Burgers came with bigger fresh-cooked beef patties, bacon and red onion rings. Plus, they were made in tasty varieties like mushroom and Swiss or bacon and cheese. Unfortunately, the demand just wasn't there. The burgers sat waiting for someone to order them, which could take a while. Though people raged about the Third Pound face-out, that doesn't change the fact that customers often wound up with unappetizing, soggy mushroom burgers. Number 11. KFC Hot and Spicy Popcorn Chicken KFC Popcorn Chicken was a revelation in tossing your mouth goodness, and fans say the spicy version has never been equaled for crunch and flavor. So, why did this bird fly the coop in the late 90s? One theory suggests the hand-breaded chicken bits took too long to make. KFC dropped the finicky item and started shipping its products frozen. Over the years, the Colonel's chicken bits have returned as original recipe bites and as high-quality, all-white breast meat popcorn nuggets, but food critics at the brand Eating Blog claim the familiar crunch just isn't there. Number 10. Wendy's Bacon and Blue Burger In 2010, Wendy's introduced gourmet bacon and blue cheese burger that created messily moments for customers pulling out of drive throughs all across America. The high-end sandwich consists of a quarter-pound beef patty piled, high with four strips of peppery applewood smoked bacon, blue cheese crumbles, sautéed onions and steakhouse sauce on a brioche bun. Reviewers praised the flavor but warned that the towering heap of toppings meant the thing would fall apart quickly and make for less than perfect eating in the car. This fan favorite burger costs $4.29 and is packed in 680 calories of meaty cheesy goodness. Number 9. Taco del Volcano Burrito Taco Bell fans lost the Volcano Burrito in 2013, and they're still inconsolable. The 800-calorie burrito was stuffed with ground beef, Mexican rice, crunchy red tortilla strips, sour cream and cheddar cheese, but the lava sauce was the star. It was creamy, cheesy, 
and said to be twice as spicy as Taco Bell's regular hot sauce. Recipes for recreating the magical sauce is all over the internet, but people who've tried them say they're just not the same. If you're desperate to get a volcano burrito fix, you may need to make an overseas vacation out of it. According to reports, it's still available in South Korea, Iceland, and parts of the UK. Number 8. McDonald's Szechuan Sauce In 1998, McDonald's created a sweet and tangy Szechuan dipping sauce for McNuggets around the release of Disney's Millen, but the sauce quickly disappeared. Nearly two decades later, McDonald's announced the stuff would be back for one day only for fans of the Rick and Morty cartoon, which featured the sauce. In October 2017, thousands lined up under the golden arches to nab the few packets allotted to each location. Angry, empty-handed customers barely had time to start chanting, we want sauce, before packets made it onto eBay. In short order, a lot of three sauce packs sold for $848.88 to $282.96 each reported CNBC. More recently, a case of the condiment was sold on eBay for $179.99. Number 7. Little Caesars Pepperoni Crazy Bread Little Caesars found that stuffing breadsticks takes them to another level, but you won't find the chains you were popular pepperoni stuffed breadsticks are on the menu anymore. Pepperoni Crazy Breadsticks were meaty and spicy on the inside, crispy and buttery on the outside, and topped with parmesan, like a mini rolled-up pizza with an extra boost of garlicky goodness. You got additional flavor points if you dip the sticks in marinara sauce. Little Caesars still has plain, all-garlic crazy breadsticks on the menu. For something close to the pepperoni version, you might catch a limited-time bacon-stuffed pizza crust now and then for old times' sake. Number 6. McDonald's McRib the McDonald's McRib was practically made to taunt barbecue lovers. This item has disappeared and reappeared several times over the years. The magnificent sandwich is filled with pork, smothered in barbecue sauce, and topped with onions and pickles. Supposedly, the McRib comes and goes as pork prices rise and fall. When they're low, the sandwich might show up on menus, but when they go up, it vanishes in a puff of barbecue-tinged smoke. Some fast food theorists prefer another explanation, that each time the McRib returns, fans flock to it, but the enthusiasm quickly fades. Number 5. Burger King's Angry Whopper The hella spicy Angry Whopper was released by Burger King in 2008 as a tie-in with the Incredible Hulk movie. Fanatics threw a Hulk-worthy temper tantrum when the burger disappeared from most North American locations in 2016. The 980-calorie Angry Whopper featured a quarter-pound beef patty piled high with bacon, habanero or manchego cheese, plus crispy fried onion petals, jalapenos, mayo, and a spicy sauce. This flavor bomb of a burger re-emerged in the U.S. for a limited time in April 2019, and it's still a regular menu item in Mexico. Number 4. Popeye's Big Easy Chicken Bowl Invented in 2008, the Big Easy Chicken Bowl was a mess of Popeye's best menu items heaped together in a bowl. It was last seen regularly on menu circa 2015. The Big Easy combined white meat chicken with spicy Cajun gravy, red beans, rice and shredded cheese, plus optional hot sauce and sour cream. Costing just $3.49 when it debuted, this low-priced potluck was not only cheap but also impossible to duplicate at home. Sadly, Popeyes has been under new ownership since 2017, and the current management has given no hints that it's interested in going bowling again anytime soon. Number 3. McDonald's Fried Apple Pie Back in the 1990s, McDonald's replaced its fried apple pie across most states, except Hawaii, with a baked version to please health-conscious consumers. Two decades later, Petition campaigns are still trying to bring back the fried pie in the continental U.S. Its crispy pastry and piping hot filling are vastly superior to the bland baked version, say devotees. As one change.org petition puts it, McDonald's, we know you're not good for us. Step up, own what you are, and put the pies back in the fryer. Number 2. Dairy Queen's Mystery Misty The Dairy Queen Mystery Misty was a color-changing slushie that hit big with queens in 2004. 
The colorless blue raspberry flavored drink came with a special straw filled with a mysterious powder. Pulling the straw's tap released the powder so it could be stirred into the drink, magically turning it blue, red, green, or yellow. Even with this new trick, the Misty Slush drinks were well past their 90s 80 and didn't last long. When 2017 rolled around, DQ boarded the 90s resurgence bandwagon and brought back the Misty Slush in several fruity flavors, but without the mystery. Number 1. Burger King Cheesy Tots Burger King's tater tots were already popular, but they hit cult classic status after they were featured in the 2004 geek flick Napoleon Dynamite. Hot, crispy, and filled with melted cheese, the tots were a hit, but they were on BK menu for only a short time. The famous tots were brought back briefly in 2016 and were promoted by the stars of Napoleon Dynamite before disappearing again. The cheesy tater tots had one more limited time run in 2019, this time with a little something extra. Smoky bacon bits stuffed inside. With that, we end today's video. Join in next time for more of such interesting content.